What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it with another top 10 countdown for you guys. I, I love the countdown stuff. You guys know that I love doing the countdowns. I love breaking things down, ranking things. So today, man, we are going to be doing a ranking. It is my top 10 figures that we saw at AEW Revolution Fan Fest. Now, this isn't necessarily the best figures because we don't have them in hand yet, right? We're going to rank my top 10 figures of the year once we get there. I imagine a lot of these will be on the list. If not all of them, we may get a surprise exclusive or something crazy but this is not going to be like my top 10 in the hand these are more of like the top 10 that i'm most excited for so the figures that we got shown off and then taking all of them into account and then putting them into a top 10 ranking of figures that i'm most excited for that i'm most excited to get in my hand pose around use in the pick fed use on the on the channel in general put them on the shelf all the different things man so we're going to break all those things down but we do have some honorable mentions that i want to go through first so with that being said man let's go ahead and run through our honorable mentions then we'll get into the top 10 countdown because there was so much shown off it was very much impossible to do a top 10 without giving you know some of these other figures a nod so let's go ahead and start off with honorable mentions man starting out first we do have jade i love jade i think she's gotten fantastic on on tv like she's gotten a lot better and i think she's really coming into her own here so the only thing keeping her off the list was just like her musculature i think that her arms and shoulders could have been a little bit better and her her head sculpt could have been a little bit better but i am super excited for the figure i just think that it needs needs to be touched up a little bit and hopefully her figures down the line will be better than this and I'm sure they will be but Jade was in my honorable mentions. We also have our Cody in suit from the same series. Thought that this figure looked fantastic. What kept him off the list was that he didn't come with his actual blazer jacket. It's more of like the overthrow coat and it's a repeat head sculpt. However, it's still a good looking figure. I'm excited for the molds and the possibility of putting other guys in suit and that is why he's a part of the honorable mention. Next up is Darby in his green pants and the half sting gear to match our Luminaries Walmart exclusive sting and this figure just looks really cool I like that we get another Darby Allen, but it's a different take on him You could just take his top part off and put it on a regular Darby Allen attire if you wanted to and you could put other guys in the green pants But just giving him those green pants was a really cool different take so I wanted to include Darby Allen here I love Darby Allen. I like his figures a lot. They feel amazing in hand I'm sure this one's gonna be just the same next up is gonna be Miro I thought he looked beautiful the head sculpts really great I think the shorts need to be shorter, but the T TNT gear is sick as hell. I love the head sculpts. I think this is going to be miles better than his first figure, and doing some swappages with those is going to be really fun but Miro did come in on the honorable mentions. We also have Supreme Britt Baker. I love that she comes with like a wrestling gear and then a promo style gear. I think that's fantastic how she's going to have like her, you know, like black pants with a Britt Baker belt buckle. I think that's sick as hell. I love all the different accessories she comes with. Very fantastic figure, but it didn't quite make the top 10. And last but not least, we have the Negative One Brody Lee 2-pack, which is just a beautiful tribute. Love this figure, this 2-pack. It's probably going to be one of the, my favorite mock figures at the end of the day. And maybe we could uh, do a top 10 mock figures ranking at the end of the year for every year. You know, now that we have like this ever-growing mock collection there for AEW. But anyways, man, with all that being said, let's dive into my top 10 and get into the top 10 figures that I'm most excited for from AEW Fan Fest at Revolution. Now, coming in at number 10, this may shock some people, but I went with CM Punk. Uh, I, I think that I'm very excited for CM Punk's figure, but I think that at the end of the day, it is missing a lot of stuff. You know, his long tights is the regular version. It doesn't have knee pads on it, which I think made it look a bit weird. I don't think his head sculpts are perfect. I think that the Sammy Guevara kick pads are a little bit weird. I'm very excited to see what it comes out like at the very end, but at the end of the day, it's, it's not my most exciting figure, you know, so I had to put him at number 10. Not bad for a first CM Punk figure, but I think after this one, we're really going to get into the meat and potatoes of it. I do like the chase a lot better. I just wish that it wasn't the trunks attire. I wish that would have been the main one, and then the long tights would have been the chase. However, man, coming in at number 9, we have Hangman in his promo gear. So we have, you know, sort of the cowboy-esque shirt. You got the jeans, belt buckle, beautiful looking head sculpt. I think this is a great figure. I love the accessory that we're getting here. Just a really beautiful looking Hangman, man. It's just one of those great figures. I love that we're actually getting promo style guys in, you know, like repeats, right? It's not always wrestling gear. We're getting some changes in gear. We're getting some promo gears. It's really reminding me of like old video games 
of you know wrestling games like that where you play shut your mouth or here comes the pain where you you know you go into story mode you get some money you can buy the alternate gear and it's them in street gear i don't know why it's just so fun man that's what really makes collecting fun and what makes the you know seeing the guys how they look on tv not when they're in the ring man the backstage gears the different promo gears and stuff like that hangman looks beautiful and i wish mattel would do stuff more stuff like this number eight is going to be andrade and number eight andrade here is beautiful i love the white pants i love the pinstripes i want to make a whole faction in these pants, man. Hopefully Andrade is a really easy figure to get. Maybe I can track down maybe five or six of them and not only have one mock, but also have my loose version, but I'd like to have a lot to put some guys in these pinstripe pants, man. I'd army build these guys and then uh, throw together a whole faction with the with the pinstripe pants, man. I love the pinstripe pants. I think anybody looks good in those and not only that, but I think this is this could be, I don't know about completely, his NXT figure was really bomb, but this could be the best Andrade ever, but I'm really excited for the pants, so that's why he comes in so high on the list at number eight but i still like andrade's look in aew and this is another another reason man he looks fantastic so andrade comes in at the number eight spot number seven is going to be white wardlow man wardlow has become one of my favorite characters on aew television just this slow build that we've had i really enjoy his work on the mic i enjoy his work in the ring he's just one of those guys that i really support right now i love his facial expressions he's a big dude looks amazing and in the white gear man this is just Epitoma. This looks like something MDT would have created it you know, just back in the day, just making a white fantasy gear. I know he did wear this at Blood and Guts, but it's still a beautiful looking figure in the all white with the purple accents. It's a beautiful figure, and I can't wait to get it. He is number seven, and I don't think, if I wasn't such a big fan of Wardlow, I don't know if this would come in at number seven, but his first figure was incredible. I know this one will be just the same, just about, but in a cooler gear, and it is Wardlow. Gonna knock it out of the park, man. Wardlow comes at number seven. Coming in at number six, man, we have AEW and Match Series number five, Brian Danielson. What a beautiful looking figure. This could be the best Daniel Bryan, Brian Danielson figure ever made. I think it looks so good, man. I love that we're finally getting us a proportioned Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson, man. I really think that Mattel's skinny torso they've always given him has been way too small, and I love that we're finally getting a figure that really captures his, his torso and his body style and stuff like that. I hope that the figure looks okay next to other figures when they're wrestling in the ring, and it's not just a AEW figure thing. I hope it looks good up next to Mattel's and stuff like that, but these head sculpts are fantastic. I love that you have the man bun up, and you have the messy look. You can go different routes. You have a great, clean, classic gear there for Brian Danielson. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. I love it. I think it's fantastic. He is number six, and I'm super excited for it. Coming in at the number five spot, man, is going to be none other than Adam Cole, baby. Adam Cole is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world, and this is just a beautiful epitoma. Again, I am kind of worried about the body choice. It's something that maybe we can play around with and switch. Hopefully, it doesn't look too awkward or too terrible, but I love Adam Cole. The head sculpt looks really good. I don't think we've ever seen a bad Adam Cole head sculpt, but this one looks really good. I wish that his gear was different, like the black and white gear isn't my favorite. It is a rubber jacket, so we're going to have to get a custom jacket if you want to rock the jacket with this figure. That is unfortunate, but Adam Cole does look really good. I'm excited to have him in AE. W figure form and you know how will it compare to Elite 92 I don't know if they can beat the Elite 92 we'll have to see about that as far as proportions and stuff like that but we'll have to see uh, I'm still excited for the figure nonetheless Adam Cole comes in at number five coming into the number four spot man we have Supreme Cody this figure comes with so many different bells and whistles what how do you not want this figure how are you not excited for this figure my the only thing I'm worried about with the Supreme collection is that I literally feel like I'm going to need three of these because you have to have your mock version I want to have a full men on card set of the supreme line i'd love to have you know a lucy's of the figure and then i'd like to have the extra legs to to to, th to kit bash and make another one so i i don't know it's just gonna be a lot of money right there man i mean that's 120 dollars perfect like you know you have your mock one that's 40 if this is 40 dollars you have your loose one which would be another one, and then you have your third option there, and then you have your extra bodies you could kit bash. So you're looking at a lot of stuff there, but 120 bucks, and then every figure in the Supreme line down the line there, gonna add up really, really quick, like, and you're gonna find yourself lost as a ball in high weed. So you gotta be careful there. But the Supreme Cody looks beautiful. I love all the gears, the head sculpts, the butterfly joints. Just a beautiful freaking figure, man. What an excellent looking figure, and I'm excited for it. Could not be more excited for Supreme Cody there at number four. Number three is gonna be none other than the unmatched series 5 suited Kenny or the promo style Kenny again man I'm loving these backstage slash promo gears here you could uh, kit bash these together you realize that we're going to have a jeans mold with white shoes you could put so many different guys 
in these jeans. You could put this jacket on a lot of different people and create and kit bash again to make different figures, man. That's what makes this line so fun is like you can literally just make fix-ups and stuff just pairing different figures together. I've seen multiple people do it on, on different social media sites, but this Kenny is beautiful. This is what I love to see. I love the head sculpt. You can put this head sculpt on a regular unrivaled Kenny. You could kit bash other Kennys together, so this is going to be beautiful, man. The, the suited Kenny from Unmatched 5 is so beautiful. It may have that, you know, Unmatched series one vibe where every time I see it I just grab it you know so we'll have to see about that but suited Kenny from Unmatched 5 looks beautiful and I had to put him so high on the list I'm so excited for this figure hopefully it turns out beautiful when it's all said and done now coming in at number two is going to be another Kenny Omega but it's going to be the Supreme Collection Kenny Omega again man just all these different accessories and things we're going to see you're going to have your mock set which is going to look insane you're going to have your your you have your two interchangeable gears now while I'm not a big fan of the black and white gear I still love that we get these two options here you can kit bash with old Omegas you have like four Four different head sculpts to interchange and put on your older Omegas as well. So that makes, you know, collecting a lot of these Kennys really, really fun. Action figure surgery is about to be running completely wild here with all these Kenny Omega figures, but he comes in at number two. I mean, what's not to love? It's a beautiful figure. The added articulation as well. I imagine that you could just pop this torso with the added butterfly joints onto older Kenny Omegas as well to give them those gears and added articulation. So that's just insane, man. It's going to be beautiful. But number two is Supreme Kenny Omega. And coming in at the number one spot that I'm most excited for out of all of them is going to be none other than Supreme Collection Malachi Black. This figure is just off the charts, man. You not only get his old Aleister Black tights look, you also get the biker trunk style look with the Lucy's there. You get the, you know, the hood up, the hood down. You get five different interchangeable head sculpts, which is insane. You have all these different tattoo details. I loved the different patterns that we were getting on the kick pads and knee pads. This figure is just one of those that screams supreme. You know, it's one of those defining moments-esque, right? It's one of those that's the highest of the high. It's all the different quality. It is is the supreme is the top of the line and this figure just embodies that man with all these different things that you get it's like a action figure collector's dream it's a it's a freaking fever dream here in action figure form with this supreme malachi black so i i had to put malachi black at the front i love malachi black i love alistair black always been one of my favorites so to see him here in this aew line to see him up here with this sick ass figure man had to put him in number one and there was no other way to do so so supreme malachi black comes in at number one and i want to run through my top 10 really quick before we get out of here man so 10 is cm punk nine is hangman eight is andrade seven is white wardlow six is brian danielson five is adam cole four is supreme cody three is suit kenny Two is Supreme Kenny, and one is Supreme Malachi. So I would love it down below, guys, if you would please let me know yours down in the comment section below what your top 10 favorite figures are from the reveals or which ones you're most excited for. Also, let me know if you have any honorable mentions. And if you don't want to do 10, maybe you can do 5, or just let me know your favorite figure from the reveals. But holy crap, man, what an epic year it's going to be. I think I, I, I've gotten multiple predictions correctly so far. I said this year was going to be the year of AEW figures. So far, that seems to be correct. I said that we were probably going to get, I said that we were going to get a CM Punk unrivaled figure. We were going to get a Jeff Hardy unrivaled figure year before the end of the year I said we'd see a render at least I didn't say we if we would get the full thing or if we'd just see a render but I said we'd see a Jeff Hardy a AEW unrivaled figure so that's most likely going to come true now so oh man the two pack Hardy boys that we're probably going to get I just can't even imagine man these figures are going to be crazy but this year is the year of the AEW figure and this top 10 just proves it man but I'm getting out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy let me know your thoughts on all of the things down in the comment section below I'm getting out of here man subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video don't cross the line like uh, Christian. Christian. He wasn't making the list. That figure doesn't look very good. You crossed the line. I've been beaten, broken down.